Recently, I shared a post on Twitter showcasing some of my latest thumbnails, and it seems that many of you really like the first one featuring Ali Abdal. I've received quite a few requests for a tutorial on how to create it, so in today's episode, I'll walk you through the process step by step in Photoshop. As always, you can find the PSD file in the description below. First, I'll start by creating a new document with the usual dimensions of 1280 by 720 pixels and I'll name it Money Thumbnail. As you can see, I found a great image of Ali Abdal. It's high quality, so I'll be using it for this thumbnail, so I'll drag and drop it into the document we created earlier. Next, I'll open the Camera Raw filter to make a few adjustments and help the image stand out. Then I'll duplicate the layer using Ctrl plus J and desaturate it with the hue and saturation tool like this. Once that's done, I'll drag and drop this money texture I found online, resize it to be much larger and change the blending mode to hard mix. As you can see, the effect is starting to look much better and gives the image a money-like appearance. To enhance the effect, I'll go to image adjustments, then brightness and contrast and tweak the settings until the texture stands out and looks just right. To make it truly resemble money, I'll add a gradient map with these specific colours. You can easily download the PSD file from the description to get the gradient map. Once that's done, I'll merge all the layers together. Now we have two layers one with the money effect and the original one without it. Next, I'll add this money bill and center it in the middle of the image. After that, I'll add this rip paper and erase the right part of the money bill as shown. I'll also remove Benjamin Franklin from the image. Then I'll erase this part of the Ali Abdal image and unhide the other layer to reveal the changes. For more detail, I'll add a drop shadow to the ripped paper and adjust the angle of the shadow to make it look realistic. To make the thumbnail more dramatic, I'll add a vignette effect like this. Now, for the final part, colour correction. There's no special formula, just adjust the settings until you find something that looks good. Make sure to add some distortion and vignette from the optics section to help everything stand out more. And that's it everyone. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to check out the PSD file in the description below. If you're interested in how I edit faces, be sure to watch this video. See you in the next episode. Peace!